Okay, wait. Oh, turn it down. Ah! Hey, y'all. Oh, 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 oh. Turn it down. Oh, my God. It's so loud. It's so loud. It's so freakishly loud. Okay. Where's the heat? Oh, my God. It's fucking cold. <laughs> okay. So, y'all. I have to talk to y'all. Look, don't look at my face. I just woke up, but I did wash my face and I brushed my teeth, do my car vlog. But y'all, I might have a little bag under my eyes because I was drinking last night. And yeah, oh, slow down, sweetie. Thank you. Don't drive too fast. You won't hurt nobody. Okay. So I had to do, I had to get in my car because I feel I talk better when I'm in my car. It's like my little, it's like my bubble of happiness. Okay. Let's talk about this situation because this shit right here is crazy. Oh, y'all, I look so yesterday. I look so yesterday. Look at me. Oh, my God. Drink water, children. All right. Bitch, let me park because we going to talk about this because men are not about to sit here and try to make women feel like they don't have the same right as them. Like, we're, we're not about to do that, guys. We're not about to do that. Okay, so Boosie had said that stupid-ass comment about Lori Harvey. And I used to think like this, too, because this is how I would... Oh, I'm spitting. Calm down, girl. We know you like men. Relax. <laughs> Water mouth. Okay, I used to think just like this because that's how I was raised too, that women need to be like queens and you gotta, women need to respect themselves and women need to be like this and carry themselves a certain way and blah, 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 blah. I used to be hardcore. Somebody said, you're a man. You damn right I'm a man, but I'm a man that understands equality, bitch. So shut your ass up, whole five bust in your mouth. Anyway. So they, I, I was raised to think the same thing that, oh, women got to be like this and they can't do that and they can't do this. But bitch, what about men? If you want your woman to be a queen, why can't women want men to be a king? So if women need to sit here and, and carry themselves like a queen and like royalty and like a princess and not do this, well, nigga, I need you to be a king and carry yourself with some motherfucking respect. I need you to do the same fucking thing. I need you to carry your ass. Don't fuck Keisha, Nicole, Heather, Tanya, Martha, Susie. I need you to carry yourself like you a man. Carry yourself like you a king. I need you to sit here and get you a job. I need you to respect women. Don't call them bitches. Don't glorify their bodies. I need you to do the same fucking thing. If you want me to do that, I need you to do that. And that's what they're not doing. They're saying a woman can't do this because she's a queen. Okay, nigga, you can't do that because you're a king. So don't do it. It's the same fucking thing. The same fucking thing. So when, when Boosie said, y'all need to stop glorifying Lori Harvey because are calling her goals nigga well they're glorifying you and how many baby mamas do you have they over here oh boosie's so right boosie's so right he so this but nigga you got how many baby mamas they should be like nigga you the last one to talk that's what they should be saying you the last one to talk nigga let somebody who only let somebody in a relationship with a girlfriend let them say something. Not you, sir. Not you. Because you the one, You because he said, what man want their daughter going around sleeping with eight or nine men? Or do, how the fuck you know this girl is sleeping with eight or nine niggas? She could just be with them. They trying to juice her up, give her money to make her put out. How do you know she's sleeping with them? Sus could just be giving some bomb ass head. Hello? She could just be giving some bomb ass head and they trying to smash Lori. And when they don't smash her, they get upset and they leave. Because mind you, every time sis get out these relationships, she ain't even upset. You don't see her online saying, oh my God, I'm hurt. I'm upset. I thought he loved me. Sis be like, who's the next motherfucker? That's the same shit niggas do. They do the same fucking shit. They'll get with a woman. Once they get her kitty box, 
they go to the next, and then she's supposed to be at home sad and upset, and he over there fucking another bitch. Y'all want women to sit there and be upset and try to get that dog ass nigga back while y'all fucking six or nine other bitches, and she's supposed to be at home. Well, I gotta be a queen. <laughs> I gotta be a queen. I can't go get nobody else. I make. I gotta make sure I'm pure. Only I can't go over three bodies. I can't go over three bodies or I'm going to be a hoe. But it's okay for him to have ten. Mm. Do you know how fucking dumb that sounds? Now, I, uh, now I agree. You should resolve. Let them be hoes. Let niggas be hoes. Let girls be hoes. Whoever want to be a hoe, I don't even want to call it a hoe. If you want to go out there and be kinky, Go out there and be, but don't judge a motherfucker when they come to you and say, I got 10 bodies, I got 20 bodies. You could be like, well, shit, I got it too. <laughs> Go for what you like. If somebody comes to you and say, hey, yeah, I did. I fucked with 10 people. Sales higher than women because they say a woman's supposed, and I used to think like that. I did. I did. I used to think like that. I used to always be like, yo, a woman got to be a queen. They can't do that. Women got to carry themselves different. They got to respect themselves. But a man does too. Like, why is it okay for men to make mistakes? Or men can do stupid shit, but a woman can't. That's not fair. And I used to think like that. I really did. I really did. I used to, I do still hold women higher than men because I just feel like women are just women. But no, the more I keep talking about it, oh, I'm spitting. Okay, suck some dick. Okay. <laughs> No, nobody's higher than anybody. A king and a queen are the same, period. King and queen are the same, period. The only way I feel things may differ is like if a man hit a woman or if somebody fights a woman. I, I, I find that how women and men differ because women are fragile, they're they're soft. That is where they differ. They're fragile. They're soft. They're in like their 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 ways are innocent and pure. That is how they differ. But as far as like standards, I feel everybody needs to be the same. King and queen, you're equal. Because when a king goes for a queen, it's equality. Somebody said, "Oh hell no," nah. and that must be a man. Everybody is equal. So when so so when you so so if they're not equal, friend, listen to me. If they're not equal, so you mean to tell me if and if you are a woman, you should feel ashamed of yourself. Tell him AJ, what the fuck AJ say? He probably said something dumb, and this woman want his dick. What AJ say? What AJ say? What the hell AJ say? I don't even see AJ. Who the fuck is AJ? She said, tell him AJ. Who's AJ? I don't even see what the fuck AJ said. I need to just guess her. Men are protectors and women are... Pro Men are protectors and women are protected. See, who the fuck is that? Is that a woman? Total beauty. She's a woman. She's stupid. She's stupid. That's how I know you... See, this. you're brainwashed. Oh, AJ... You're brainwashed, friend. She said men are protectors and women are protected. So you mean to tell me? Because, baby, I done seen my mama protect my daddy, too. So you mean to tell me if somebody stepped to your man, a woman, Step to your man because he cut her off in the street and she's just a rowdy ass bitch. Rowdy ass bitch. And he gets to a red light and he, because he made a mistake and cut her off. And she get out the car and say, fuck you, you stupid man. How the fuck you gonna cut me off? You're gonna sit in the car and say, baby, protect us. <laughs> You're going to sit in the car and say, baby, protect us.
y'all better protect each other. Y'all better protect each other. You get out that car and say, look, sweetie, I need you to go and get out my man's face. And that's when he gets up and say, baby, get back in the car. It's okay. Let's just go. Y'all are protecting each other. You got up to protect him because a woman got in his face and you don't want a woman. You don't want your man to hit a woman and you don't want no woman in your man's face. So now he's going to protect you because he don't want you getting hit by that woman and he don't want to get into no confrontation. So now y'all are protecting each other. Y'all better come on. Girl, move. A man is a protector and a woman is protected. Girl, you better give yourself the same power as a man. Girl, come on. Get out my face. Y'all got to stop making women. Uh, women, stop making yourself lower than a man. You're not lower than a man. You're not lower than a man. Stop. Men made it like that. You're not lower than a man. Everybody is the same. <laughs> the same way you can get a pot and hit a man in the face and it, it hurt him. You can get hit in the face and it hurts you. We're, we all hurt. We all cry. We all have feelings. We all get sick. Everybody's the same. We all shit, piss, breathe. We're all the same. Just because he can lift 200 pounds, bitch, there's a woman out there who body builds who can lift 200 pounds. If that was the case, us lesbians would be screwed, but not the case. I got hands and shell cases. If you got to shoot somebody, sweet, then you are weak. If you get in an altercation with mouths first, and you have to pull out a gun to end it, you're weak. Now, if somebody runs up in your house shooting, I'm not expecting you to come back trying to fight with your hands. You, yeah, shoot the fuck back. But if y'all are arguing and you get in your ass beat and you pull out a gun, then baby, you shouldn't have started arguing if you knew you couldn't fight. That was your fault. Your, your weak ass should have just said, you know what? <laughs> I'm out, buddy. <laughs> But no, nah, you want to play werewolf and want to go at that like he was crazy and bitch, you got treated like a chihuahua. That's not my problem. <laughs> That's not my problem. You already knew you couldn't fight, so why was you running your mouth? Oh, you was trying to be cool for the homies. <laughs> you better sit down, Toto. <laughs> go eat your kibbles and bits. Child, you already knew you, you knew you couldn't fight, but you thought you had this one in the bag. <laughs> You didn't have it in the bag, bitch. You got put in the bag. <laughs> Go somewhere, Twinkle Toes. <laughs> Go. Go. Go somewhere, Twinkle Toes. Y'all is crazy. But no, uh, back to the... <laughs> it is hot in this car. Can we turn the sauna down? Okay, bitch, I am cooking in this bitch. He could put a fry, he could put that boy, an egg in this motherfucker sunny side. Uh. Okay. Um, but back to the boosted situation. I just think men need to stop trying to make women feel like they cannot be as superior as them because women are. The same way you need a strong man. Oh, shit, my gas. The same way you need a strong man, you need a strong woman. Period. Stop saying women can't do what men do. If men want to go out there and sleep around, that's a man who sleeps around. If a woman want to go out there and sleep around, that's a woman who sleeps around. If it's not what you do, it's just not what you do. But don't sit here and say a woman can't do what a man does. Period. Just say it's not. So when you get asked the question, what about Lori Harvey? She's out here sleeping with these men or she's doing this. Just say, hey, it's not for me. But if that's what she do, that's what she do. That would have been the perfect response, period. It ain't for me. But if that's what she do, hey, that's what she do. Period. 
Period. Period. Period. It's just not fair that me it's just not fair that men can get away with so much. That's why they wrote that song, This is a Man's World. Because that they want to get away with so fucking much. We run the house. I wear the pants. I do this. I do that. I bitch. To be bitch. If anything, the woman wear the pants. Cause I ain't seen not one nigga. I ain't seen not, and a woman is strong. I ain't seen not one man push a watermelon out of a lemon. Hello, somebody. I ain't seen not one man push a watermelon out of a lemon. Bitch, please. That's some, that's some pain, baby. <laughs> That's some pain, baby. You can't even put a. You don't even want to go and get a um a um finger stuck up your butt for prostate cancer check. You talking about that hurt? I oh, don't put a finger in my booty hole, bitch. Sit your sorry weak ass down. <laughs> don't talk to me, bitch. I go through periods all the time. You come fuck with that shit and then come talk to me. Hello, you bitch. Talk to me when you talk to me. <laughs> talk to me when you talk to me, nigga. Fuck you. <laughs> I get cramps, bitch, and them motherfuckers hurt. What What do you got? A hard dick? Oh, okay, jack it off. You'll be all right. <laughs> so, let's talk about strong here, buddy. Let's, uh, let's talk about strong. <laughs> let's, let's talk about strong, sir. Let's talk about, let's talk about strong. You get a headache and you need a goodie powder. You need a back rub. I'm tired. I got a headache. Oh, fuck you and your headache. <laughs> fuck you and your headache. <laughs> I, get, I get my shit every month. Fuck is you talking about? <laughs> be a girl i would be like nigga you better shut the fuck up and get out get out my goddamn face talk about a headache i've been to work all day i'm tired bitch <laughs> <laughs> sir <laughs> i'm playing I'm, I'm playing but no y'all are the same sweetie why is you yelling because stupid people can't hear me <laughs> Stupid people can't hear me. You must be new in my broadcast. I do this all the time. If you don't like my yelling, you can double down and get the fuck out. <laughs> Hello? Why aren't you yelling? Sometimes when you talk soft, bitches want to run over you like Bootsy, who's sitting here letting soft-talking people follow behind them. Bitch, I'm dominant. I'm loud. I project myself. I want to be heard. <laughs> She want me to be weak. I need you to whisper. Who? <laughs> Y'all are stupid. I'm a little hot. I'm a little hot. Okay. Um, for the people in the back, right? Y'all, I just be talking shit. I have comebacks for everything. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm so quick on my brain. Okay, um, but for real, seriously. Um, women, I love you too. Women do not... I want to log off, but I can't. <laughs> Stay. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> uh, women, you're the same. You are on the same level as a man. You are. Um, If you want to sleep with 10 men, sleep with them. If they want to sleep with 10 women, sleep with them. You're on the same level. It's just so so when a man come to you and say you need to you need to carry yourself like a queen, you turn back around and say, "Okay, well you need to carry yourself like a king." Period. And that's how you shut his ass up. Because a, if 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 a king can go out there and sleep with nine women, 
when them, I'm your queen, let me go sleep with nine men. Period. So, it is what it is. A, queen, a king need to act the same way you want your queen to act. Whatever, However you act is what you're going to attract. Period. Oh, I like that. However you act is what you're going to attract. Oh, my God. Go ahead. Uh, score. Now I'm just playing. What the fuck the fool do? What? What are you talking about? Um, <clears throat> I'ma say you need to carry yourself like a king the fuck. Right. Do them how they do you. Yes, because it's just not fair. It's it's not fair. It's not fair. Cause I, I like I said, for people who are coming in, I did I used to think the exact same way. I used to be like, but a woman a woman needs to carry herself different. She gotta do this, she gotta do that, she gotta do this, she gotta do that. So that's like you just saying, oh yeah, I gotta act like this, but he could do whatever the hell he wanna do. That's not right. That's not right. And then all the people in the comments saying, Zoe, you need to listen to what he's saying. He said, don't glorify her. I don't think people are glorifying her. I just think they're glad that they see that she's just doing what the fuck she want to do. <clears throat> That's what I think the girls are looking at. Like, shit, Lori doing what she want to do and she don't get no fuck. That's what, I don't think nobody's glorifying her saying, oh, it's cool that she's sleeping around if she is. Nobody's saying that. They're just saying, damn, Lori bagging all the niggas. Like, that's what they're saying. Like, bitch, she getting niggas we wish we had. That is what they're saying. Nobody's glorifying her being a whore if that's what she's doing. I can't even say she's sleeping with nobody. I don't even want to call her a whore because that's not even like a whore. A whore? I feel like a hoe? If, if you just getting banged out several times a day. Now, bitch, you just a hot pocket. <laughs> <laughs> if you like, if that it, that's even with a man, if you are a person and you have sex in the morning with somebody, then go have sex with somebody else in the afternoon again, and then somebody else at night, you, you man or woman, you just, you, you burnt, <laughs> you burnt. That's it about it. But I think she was actually in relationships. She was in relationships people say date right y'all say date folks she just happened to date men who are she just happens to be famous she happens to be in the spotlight the men she are dating happen to be famous and in the spotlight so you know who she's dating women do that every day men do that every day you date she only had future diddy did it, son? Okay, bad bitch. I dated two cousins, two brothers. Okay, I'm sorry I did it. Fuck it. Um, did it, did it, son, future, Michael B, and then whoever else. That's five niggas. So what? So you mean to tell me a 20-something year old is not supposed to date five people? A 20-something year old is not supposed to date five people. He let his child get, oh my God, shut up. Like, that's five people. That's normal. That's dating. Oh, Trey Songz, that's dating. So you mean to tell me you haven't had multiple different, like, girlfriends? That's dating. And if you happen to have sex with them while you date, you fucking had sex. Oh, well. At least she ain't having children. Like some of them other girls who... Shut up, though. See, now that's the women who feel like the man can do what he wants. That's that woman. The man can sleep around, and that's when he catch that woman who says, I got to be my queen for my man when he gets here. That's that woman. I got to be a queen for my man when he gets here. And then when that dirty ass who you thought was a king tiptoe in your life, Spits you all that sweet shit because he's done dated all these different women. He done learned women. He done learned how to talk to them. He done learned how to finesse them. He done did this. But because you got to stay pure and you don't want to have all these different men, you haven't been able to experience and learn men. So you're just this pure sweet soul. 
And then he comes in and he talks all this shit to you. And then you lay down and you like, oh, he's the one. And you get pregnant. Gots to be more careful. Gots to be more careful. And guess what he does? Guess what he does? He gets up. And he goes on to the next girl because he can sleep around. And guess where you're at, queen? Because you want to be so pure. You're at home with that baby fussing about child support or whatever the case may be. Because now your king who can sleep around but you got to be pure is on to woman number 10. Because a man can do that. And now you're labeled as a baby mama. So then when you meet another guy, he's like, oh, she got a child. She must be easy. But guess what? You were that pure girl. But now you're looked at as, oh, she got a baby. She was probably easy. So you saved all that pureness to just now be looked at as an easy hoe. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I don't think I sound dumb at all. I think I'm being very, very reasonable on both ends. But, you know, maybe I'm just, you know, maybe, maybe I'm just talking because, you know, I don't know. If y'all listen to the word that Boosie say, senior, you are an idiot. Oh my God, stop. Be nice. Yes, friend, that was uh, baby daddy 23 years ago. Baby learned that lesson never again. Right. I can have your, sh what do you say? I can have your shorty in the back doing dancing. Oh my God. I'm just saying, y'all, like, I just want women to understand it's okay. It's okay to do whatever you need to do to just. It's okay. Don't don't let anybody make you feel that you can't do what men do. You're on the you're you're all on the same level at the end of the day. You're all the same. You're all the same. You all make choices. A man is not better than a woman. A woman is not better than a man. And the, what did they say? What did the what did the Bible say? Or uh, when you get married, you need to look. Oh, Jesus be talking to me. Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Y'all, I need to be a mo uh, I need to be a motivational speaker. You need to be equally yoked. Oh! Oh my God! He didn't say your man need to be higher than you or your woman need to be equally yoked. Oh! Y'all so stupid. Oh, y'all is so stupid. Oh, boy, sit down. Y'all so stupid. He also said, save yourself for marriage. Okay, look, he said it, but... <laughs> he, he said it, but it's okay to slip up a little bit. I, no, but for real, I know he said that, but we are humans, and humans make mistakes, and, you know, it's okay to, you know, sometimes you do got to test drive, because... <laughs> Jesus... <laughs> I got I got to see what I'm purchasing. I'm sorry. You know? Um I feel like I got to see. But I think he, he going to let that slide, friend. He know y'all ain't out here just he know you ain't out here just not doing nothing. <laughs> he know. He wouldn't have made sis over there with that little that big booty and them big titties and you he he know. 
<laughs> Y'all, shoot, he know. If you if you do save yourself, that's cool. But he know that y'all gonna he know we all gonna slip up. What it say? We all gonna fall short of the glory of the Lord. I, I didn't say it word for word, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Um But yeah. Who here? Who's here, Taraji? Oh, Taraji, we gotta have a talk, sugar. Um but yeah, that's just crazy. I just don't want women thinking that they're not the same as a man. You're you're on the same level. And it just really made me upset that he said that. Like, don't downplay her when you're doing the same thing. Like, that girl can do what she, she can do what she want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, let her be her and do what she want. Ain't nobody saying they having sex. Um, we all fall short. Right. Hello, somebody. Do you like studs? Get off me. <laughs> Get off me. Get off me. Do you like studs? Oh my God, you're trying to rape me. Oh, don't say that word. I'm sorry. You're trying to take advantage of me. <sighs> Hold on, what'd they say? Oh, what you do to, wait, is she really here? Y'all stop saying that she's not here. Is she really here? You talking about the beautiful Taraji, the one who is like the actress and comedian Taraji? Is she really here? Y'all stop playing with me. Don't play with me. Y'all stop. Y'all is just, y'all be playing sometimes. Okay, see, y'all trying to play. She's not, I didn't think, y'all stop. She don't even follow me. Y'all be doing too much. Stop doing it. Okay, um, hello from Russia. Oh my God, I got people ever. Not Taraj, Tara, 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 who is that? I thought y'all said Taraji, like the lady, the actor. Who are y'all talking about? Who is that? I don't even know how to pronounce the name. Did you check your, did you check my music out? No, sis ain't here. Okay. <laughs> I think they playing. Oh, because everybody kept saying this. So I was like, wait a minute. But, um, <clears throat> I mean, because a lot of celebrities do follow me. I just don't know if she do. I'm weak as hell. Right. So, I guess. This dude from TikTok. <laughs> it'd, be so, it'd be so funny when people say, oh, that's the dude from Wild Now. That's the dude from YouTube. That's the dude from TikTok. I mean, I be liking it because I know where you, that means I know where you follow me from. Guys hella be judging. They do. No, guys really judge women. And it's crazy. Like, it's, it's, it's like they put, it's like men want to be the superior, but you put skincare, girl. No stress and a lot of sex. No, I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I, I just play. That's why Laura Harvey is beautiful. Hello. <laughs> Shit. That's that's why she look good. No stress and a lot of sex. Hello. Fuck you thought, bitch. I am pleased and I ain't got no worries. I ain't worried about these niggas. I am the nigga. <laughs> but no. Um. Uh, I, I drink a lot of water and um, I don't use a lot. I don't use facial products. A lot of facial products. Hello. This world is based off of money. Let's be real. And you're going in the store thinking that you're buying something that's going to fix your face. But really, child, it's going to fuck up your face. Hello. They, how do you think they make their money? Because now your skin is going to be dependent on whatever you're using. So if you're using this one thing, it's going to depend on that now. Because that's how you be like, oh, my skin is getting better. It's getting better. And then all of a sudden, it just starts fucking up if you stop using it two or three days. Or um, if you keep using it, maybe it might not be for you. So now your skin is going to fuck up. Then you're going to go to another one. So now it's like you're just doing all these different things and you're fucking up your skin. Um, but I do know some people need help with their skin because some people are born with just really bad acne because it's what your parents put into their body that messed you up so it's not your fault it's your mom and daddy for eating all that junk and foolishness and now your blood so when you come i feel like because dr sebi is freaking amazing i feel like um 
when you come out, whatever is in your system, I think you need to flush yourself. But because when you're born, your parents are feeding you what they want to feed you. They're feeding you like burgers, fries, this and that. So now it's just still in you. So now your skin's just going to get worse because they already fucked you up. And now you fucking yourself up more. I don't know if I sound stupid, but I think I'm talking good. <laughs> and But if we were to pull back and change our eating habit or whatever, and that I feel like your skin would change. Because Dr. Sebi has said, you can be, he said, um, when somebody is born blind or whatever, he was like, that means your intestines just need to be flushed. Your intestines need to be flushed. So I, cause you know how they say in the Bible, God made the blind man see. And then people be thinking like, um, they be thinking like, oh, he wasn't a, he, so you saying God was a magician. I think what I'm just spitting. I think what God did was he fed that man something different. Like, cause he said in the Bible, everything on this earth is here for us. But because we have like leaned on medicine and all this other stuff and this and that, that we haven't taken the time out to go look for that certain flower or root or tree or mushroom or whatever to cure us because we're just depending on doctors. But um, I feel like he gave, he flushed that man's intestines because Dr. Sebi said blindness comes from your intestines being whatever. And um, I think you can, I think that's how God made the blind man see. Or you can interpret it another way. The man was blind, walking blindly, and he made him see. And, you know, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I don't take medicine either. I don't take medicine. I don't do none of that. Unless I'm just really, really, really down. Like, I have to be low to take medicine. I don't like medicine. I don't take it. Um, I'm not sick. Because then you're going to have those people getting your DM saying, don't say that. Because then people who really need to take their medicine go stop because you said this. If you taking your medicine, take your medicine. Do you? But um, um, I don't like medicine unless I just really, really, really need it. But I prefer like whenever I get a stomach ache, I would get on Google and I say, "What are um natural remedies to get rid of a stomach ache?" Or "What are natural remedies to get rid of a headache?" Or and you know I do that. Oh God, this man out here with his children, he is so handsome. But yeah, so your skin, do that. That's how you take care of your skin. Um, just try to eat really well, sleep, changing your pillowcases. You know what I'm saying? It's stuff like that. A lot of people don't change their pillowcases. So what you're doing is you're just putting your face back on like dirty pillowcases and stuff like that. Um, al yeah, aloe vera is actually really good for dark spots. I would say get an aloe vera plant, put it in your house. And when you put it in your house, if ever you get like a dark mark or a pimple, break it, wipe it on it. That's natural aloe vera. You know what I'm saying? Um, like somebody else just said, lemon and um, lemon and uh, lime is really good too. Drink that. It says stuff like that. It's it's not gonna work as fast as this stuff they put inside the facial products, but um, that stuff is like a band aid. It's just temporary. You know what I'm saying? Exfoliate, yes. Um, but just but don't do I I. I don't know. It's just, it's hard for the people who are like, but Zoe, I got really bad acne. You know, I get it. You want that shit gone. I get it. Cause I used to get so upset about my hair bumps under my skin. I mean, under my chin, I used to get a lot of hair bumps, but I did realize when I stopped and I, I really never had pimple problems, but I learned when I ate chocolate, I used to get pimples bad. Like if I ate chocolate, if I eat too many sweets, like if I go to a party and eat a bunch of cake or chips and stuff, I break out. I break out when I eat like sweets. I can't drink soda. So like I had to make myself stop eating that stuff. Like I can have one slice of cake, but if I'd like go get two and three, oh baby, I'm waking up with a bump tomorrow. Bump of two, three. <laughs> but um different. See, y'all are naming all those products, and you can't say that. Everybody everybody's skin is different different may work for you what's that other one the c one c-e-r-v whatever it is that may work for you like my friend was like i use neutrogena when i was growing up and i put neutrogena on my face it burnt the freak out of my skin neutrogena burnt me and i broke out in so many bumps i was like oh my god 
So you can't tell somebody to use this. I'm telling you natural things that I know works for people. Like you drink your water, drink a, a lot of people do not drink water. <clears throat> drink a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of water. Don't overdo it because you can, you can drink too much water. Drink a lot of water, eat salads, eat nuts. Like, <laughs> Okay, eat nuts. I can do that. No, like eat like unless you're allergic. If you're allergic to walnuts and peanuts and 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 um, cashews and stuff, I don't know. Find another substitute. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just I'm being real. What you put in your body is gonna come out of your skin. Like right now, I feel like because I know what my face looks like. Y'all are like, oh, you look great today. I know, I feel like I look dehydrated because I know I drank last night, so I feel dehydrated. But what you put in your body is gonna show out of your, it's gonna show out of your skin. It's gonna show. Okay, I'm about to get ready to go. But, um, 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 you know what I told somebody? I'm about to go though. You know what I told somebody? I feel like, <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. I feel like weed. <laughs> I feel like weed is good for the skin. <laughs> really do. Because to be honest, I've never, I've never seen a weed smoker who has acne. <laughs> never. <laughs> never. I, because I be looking at them hood dudes, I be like, damn, his skin is so pretty. No, I'm just playing, y'all. Y'all don't got to smoke. But I'm just like, I've never seen a weed smoker with bad skin. I'm like, I've never seen it. Them niggas be having some pretty skin. They skin be so nice. I'm like, they smoke a lot of weed. <laughs> I'm not saying do it, but I'm just saying like, I just, like, just me noticing, I always be like, damn. Dudes be having really pretty skin who smoke weed. Somebody say, I've seen him. Child, he ain't smoking weed. He's smoking that other shit. He done laced it. <laughs> he done put some perks in his weed, girl. That ain't the weed. <laughs> now, that ain't the weed, girl. That ain't the weed, girl. He got he got some crushed up ecstasy in there, child. Uh-uh. I ain't falling for it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm playing. But oh, my mouth is so slobbery. Oh my god, who's single? Come see me. Right. My skin beauty. My skin beauty. Hit hit. All right. Weed oil. No, but for real, cause you know they be making them products. You know how they make them products? And they put CBD in it. CBD is good for your skin. So I'm. Y'all be thinking I be playing. I be for real. Oh my God, what is my nose? Y'all think I be playing. I be serious. I be serious because they be they be saying CBD is good for like your skin. They got, they got that CBD oil for faces and stuff like that. Y'all think I be playing, child. I be, I be joking, but I really be for real. But I, you know, when you on the internet, you gotta like, when you on the internet, you gotta like, man, oh God, I keep slobbering. When you... <laughs> When you're on the internet, you got to make sure that you say stuff that, child, ain't going to get you in some drama. So you got to be like, well, Zoe said do this for weed. Okay, I was playing. <laughs> it's a joke. <sighs> okay, y'all. Well, I'm about to go. I'll <clears throat> It's CBD like CBD in the city. Huh? Bitches finna start smoking weed now. <laughs> I, I didn't say smoke weed. <laughs> Maybe if we crunch like weed up and use it as a scrub. I'm gonna try it. I'm like just gonna get weed. I'm gonna get weed. Crunch it up and then like use it as a facial scrub and see what happens. <laughs> like I, 
I'm seriously, I'm seriously gonna do it. I'm gonna like crunch it up and use it as a scrub and just let it sit on my face and just let the herbs do whatever. <sighs> Somebody said, what did he say? I see you different in a good way. Oh, thank you, friend. Ooh! Girl, I thought they was coming to get me. Where's my man that's gonna protect me? <laughs> I need a, I need a protector. <laughs> Nigga, that's you. You the man, though. So. Oh, okay, I forgot. <laughs> oh god, y'all are so stupid. Y'all are so fucking dumb. <laughs> You're so dumb. Oh god. Okay, y'all, let me go. <laughs> so oh my god. Y'all I have I think I have um look look at me. But just yesterday you said don't claim depression and stuff so now you're gonna claim some Oh my god Oh my god Um I think um uh, what's the word What's the word ADD I cannot sit still like, I, like, you see me, I'm like, I bet y'all like, if you don't put that rubber band down, it's like my body wants to move. But because I can't get up and go nowhere, I have to have something moving. So, like, let me show y'all. Michi, if you're watching, I, I don't know. I, I did. I took it from your house. So, <laughs> this is a while back. So, um, it's this thing right here. And I was playing with it at his house. And so I just, it was just in my hand and I walked out. Oh my God, I'm a thief. Oh my God. But uh, it's this thing. So like it clicks and then it has a mover, then it has a button. Oh, shum. all that. So it's like, I just play with it. I just sit here and it like, it keeps me from having to like get up and move and do stuff. And so it's just like, it keeps my attention. So like, I don't know. It's crazy. So yeah, I just, it keeps me focused, basically. <sighs> right. But yeah, see? And I, and then, um, and then, uh, like, to go to sleep, whoever has, um, to go to sleep, whoever has been with me, they know I twitch my foot. Like, I wiggle my foot and I end up going to sleep. Like, I can't just lay there. I have to wiggle my foot. Like, I wiggle it. And it just, then I fall asleep. I don't know. It's like, my foot wiggles. I love you too. Allergies? No, I I have hair. I'm a man, so I have hair in my nose. And I think when the older you get, I think your hairs get longer or something, or you get more. Because now I'm like a grown, grown man. And so um, they move. And it be feeling like a fucking... It feels like it's a booger in my nose. And it's not. It's just the stupid hair. But when you cut them or whatever... Then you, it's like you breathe in too much air. <laughs> so like, I don't be one to cut them, but I want to cut them. Sometimes I cut them because it's just, oh, they're annoying. And so you'd be feeling like it's something in your nose and you just be like, oh girl. Cause you don't want to like, you know, you know, you on live, 4,000 people, a whole booger just sitting there and they ain't saying nothing. Cause you know, folks will be liking to tell you when you got shit in your nose, they be so fake. They let you just walk around with snot, boogers and everything. And they just talking to you. Ooh, I hate when people do that. If you talk to me and you got a booger in your nose, I'm gonna be like, friend, some folks will just sit there and talk to you, let you have a whole booger. Then they let you go talk to somebody else. And then that person got to tell you. And then in your mind, you thinking, did this motherfucker see it too? But would that make me so mad? I, or, and then, or if you had something on your chin or on your eye, something, people just, they'll be talking to you and they want to ask, oh, I didn't see it. Bitch, you saw it, lying asshole. Fuck you. You saw it. 
trying to act like you didn't see. I didn't even pay that no attention. Bitch, yes, you did. Yes, the fuck you did. You a damn lie. <laughs> Shit make me mad. I'm going to tell you, you got something on your face and your nose. Because I hope you're going to tell me. Just like I be telling folks to tell me, um, oh, this is my friend. Just like I be telling folks to tell me, like, it, cause you know, some, you know, some days, you know, you may have like, you know, ate a little something and didn't sit right with your system and your breath might stink. I tell my friends, look, cause sometimes we be meeting people and they breath be stinking. And I'm like, I wonder if they friends tell them that they breath stink. Like, does your friends not tell you this? Now, like, if you got a piece of gum and your breast still stink, I'm like, okay, at least this person probably know they breast stink. They got gum. They got a little peppermint. So, they're trying to, like, tone it down some. But if you just walking around and you just talking, that means your friends ain't told you shit. Your friends ain't told you your breast stink. Because you need to keep, like, you need to take, like, some candy. You need to always have candy or something in your mouth so people will know that you are aware of the situation. So, don't talk to me. Just know I'm aware but I'm I'm putting this in my mouth so it won't be as strong. So I tell my friends, I'll be like, yo, Daryl, if my breath ever stink, let me know. Let me know. Don't let me date somebody and then they break up with me and I'm hearing in the street, oh, Zo mouth stank or something. I tell for like I just rather you tell me you can smell if your own breath stink. No, somebody some people don't. Some people don't like some people don't because oh some people don't. <laughs> they can't know. They can't know because they like I used to date this dude who used to want to just suck on my neck. And I tried to stay with him. He ooh. <sighs> He used to want to suck on my neck and stuff. And like, I could be driving home and I'm just like, ooh, I still smell him. <laughs> I still smell him. Oh my God. Ooh. And then he used to want to, it's like people with, oh, they be wanting to kiss you all the time too. And you just like, <laughs> they be wanting to pull you in. Stop, nigga. You, you even, I don't want to kiss today. I don't want to kiss. Damn, leave me alone. Fuck. You got to make up shit to be mad about. I'm mad because you, you looked at me wrong. You got your seat too far back. You don't want to be around me. <laughs> what the fuck? Stop it. Stop it. I don't know. But no. Yeah, some people don't know. For real. Some people don't know. Some people don't know. I really believe they don't know. Because sometimes, stuff, like me, because I'm so aware of my mouth, like, I taste, I get, okay, put it like this. I think people who mouth stank, they're used to that taste, so they don't know. But I can tell when my mouth tastes dry. Does that make sense? Maybe because their mouth is always nasty. Uh, are we really trying to figure out at this moment why people don't know their breath <laughs> But I, <laughs> we over here saying, well, maybe because they mouth always dirty, they don't know that it's dirty. But because ours is clean, we know when ours is dirty. I'm just trying to figure it out. But no, like, I can tell when my mouth tastes funny. Like, I can tell. I'd be like, ooh. And, like, I won't talk in the car. I'd be like, oh, my mouth a little dry because we've been, we've been in the car all day. We ain't, like, if you go on a six-hour ride to somewhere, like, to Alabama from Atlanta, whatever, Miami, whatever, and you're in the car and you go to sleep and you wake up, you're like, ooh, I'm not going to talk. 
when to be get out and drink a little juice, lubricate it, get it together, boom, back in the game. You know? Because you can taste when it's a little dry, when it's a little tart. You know? I don't know. The air they breathe out be stank. I don't know. I don't know. But there's these things called tonsil stones. <laughs> y'all, if y'all been in my lives before, you know I've talked about these. There's these things called tonsil stones. And I don't think if you got those, you can brush your teeth all day. Your breath still gonna stink. You can brush your teeth all fucking day. Excuse me. You can floss. You can do everything. Oh, your breath's still gonna stink. It's still gonna stink because them things be caught in your ton in your tonsils. Because the the way you get those, it is not a bad thing that that happens, but it's just not good because it make it seem like your breath stink. Somebody called them throat rocks. Oh my god. <laughs> it's tonsil stones, sweetie, but we'll let you call it throat rocks. But um. It's not nothing wrong with you. It's just your tonsils are enlarged. And so what happens is... Because some people's tonsils are small. The holes in their mouth. But if you open your mouth and you see your tonsils on the side, your holes are big. And so um, the food goes in there while you're eating, right? So that's why it's good to kind of like try to rinse your mouth out after you eat. To try to like... So the food don't just sit in your mouth and then slip down one of those holes or whatever. But anyway... Um, the food goes into the tonsil hole and it sits. And then when it sits, it hardens and it will start to stink. And so it's in your mouth. I, I, hold on. Breath can clear out a whole state. And you're so sitting. And it, it stinks. And so um, you need to like get those out. Because I used to, because like, you know how sometimes you may cough sometimes like, <clears throat> and a little white ball comes out. That's what it is. I've had them before. And I'm like, cause, but you can feel it. It feels like something's in your throat, like right here. And you can feel it. And then like, you're like, <sighs> and then it comes out. It's so, and it smells like worse than, um, it smells worse than like a baby diaper. It stinks. So, um, can they go away? No. <laughs> if you don't get if you don't get that bitch out oh baby it's in there <laughs> if you don't get that out oh it's in there and that's why some people are walking around with stank breath because it's stuck and uh, I bet you wasn't talking in the, Yeah, I've had one before. But no, I can tell. Like, I, I just, I'm so familiar with my body. Like, I'm so aware of my body. Like, I felt it. I was like, what is in my, th I was like, what's in my mouth? And then, like, you could taste it. It's like, you will swallow. And when you swallow, your spit tastes nasty. It's like, ugh, what is that? And I was like, oh, I feel like my breath stink. And so, um, that's why I got my tonsils removed. <sighs> Bitch, I got my tonsils removed. Took took my bitch straight up out of me. I really got it. I got my the main purpose was because my stupid ass. Cause you know she's she love y'all know what I do. Uh, <laughs> I really got it for that purpose. Cause I was like, ooh, this gonna make me better, and that's why I did it. But it's not true, ladies. You still, you still get a little choked up so please don't do a lot of and remove your tonsils thinking that you just finna be a vacuum cleaner it's not gonna work um but but my second big purpose was because of that and i was like um i was like i talked to too many people i was like i talked to too many people i do social media and i be having supporters and they're not gonna say zo mouth stank what is that I was like, they're not finna say my mouth stank. So, um, I got them removed. And ever since then, I've never had a tussle stone ever again. Ever.
that was the best decision of my whole life because you have to like get a you gotta get like a q-tip and you gotta go in there and or you can get those little blackhead oh it used to be so annoying those little blackhead removers and um you put it in the little hole and you pull it out and it'll just it'll come out it's so fucking annoying so annoying and i was like i'm not finna have stank breath you got me fucked up and it will i will always get it after i like ate a burger or something like if i ate a burger like a week later or something i'd be like oh there you go but yeah you got on shorts yeah yeah and i was not gonna have stank mouth i'm sorry it, it, oh, i was not i was not i just can't be that i can't be that girl you can't be cute with stank mouth i just can't i didn't know they had a name for it. yeah talk like google it i y'all think i'd be playing i'd be so for real google it it's called tonsil stones google it and i promise you they get in there and so and like some people be thinking because they brush and they floss that you're like well why is it still why does my mouth still taste weird it's because it's in there it's in there and you gotta get them holes out <laughs> you gotta get them holes out so if y'all got boyfriends who y'all know you be like my baby brush his mouth and he brush his teeth be like baby check them tonsils <laughs> Baby, check them tonsils. <laughs> check them tonsils. 